Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, this is my first ever YouTube video. I've tried to make this video before and then I filmed it all and then it turned out that it wasn't on purpose the entire time. So, I'm going to redo this video. Um, but today I'm just gonna go through my everyday routine and just talk about me and tell you about my life. So, let's get started. So, I'm gonna start with a primer. Um, the Coreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. Everyone loves this thing because it's a talk to do, but you know what? I've never used talk to because I got that budget. So we're just using the e.l.f. because e.l.f. is uh, just a couple dollars and that's, that's the type of budget I'm living in. Balling on a budget. So literally everything in this video will be drugstore or ColourPop, pretty much. My name is Keaton, um, I live in Nashville, um, and I've lived here for about six years now. I moved here uh, for college, completed college in four years, and then just started living and working here. Um, yeah, so I currently work in retail, um, and it's been fun for the most part. Um, but yeah, so I live here with my fiance. Um, I live with my fiance, and we have two dogs, and they are beautiful and amazing, and I love them. And I'm uh, just putting on some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and I normally use a beauty blender. I don't know why I started using my fingers, um, but I'm gonna grab this beauty blender because. I don't know what I'm doing. I just got too focused. Oh, and um, so the reason I'm using concealer first is because I don't typically wear foundation um, for like an everyday thing. Um, I'll wear foundation if I am doing like a photo shoot, like I recently got engagement photos and wore foundation and. Um, yeah, so I don't really love like the way foundation looks on me. Um, I have weird skin and it dries really weird on my skin. Um, so maybe I just haven't found the right foundation, but I definitely like a lighter coverage. I like to be able to see my freckles and like kind of the color in my face. Um, so that's why I don't use foundation every day. So I'm just gonna set this Concealer with good old air spun. I love this because it reminds me of my great grandma. All right, so that is set. I'm gonna try to put this leftover concealer on my eyes. I'm looking over because there's a mirror on the right side of me. So I'm looking over at that mirror. Cool, so that is done and I'm gonna do my brows, another e.l.f. product. The brow pencil in natural brown. And I'm horrible at doing my brows. I feel like I don't do my brows like everyone else. And I'm not a makeup artist at all. Very amateur. Um, but I definitely feel like the way I do my brows is not like how professionals do brows. And my brows are totally different shapes, I feel like. So it's really just, let's just run this through and make it look slightly even. This is a mess. The, 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 look how thick this one is, and look how not thick this one is. I don't understand. Um, but yeah, so I live in Nashville, as I said. Um, I'm originally from a small town in Tennessee, um, and I thought moving to Nashville was the greatest thing in my life at the time, but now I'm like pretty over Nashville if anyone keeps up with 
Nashville news or whatever, it has in the recent years become an it city as they call it and people are just coming by the thousands and millions and I hate it. And I mean there are parts of it that I like. But I could definitely see myself moving sometime soon. And I uh, put this brow gel from e.l.f. and I made myself a little like count to a lot. Um, so I'm gonna let that kind of get a little sticky, get a little dry. Um, I'm gonna use a little spoolie to make it look less caveman-like. Okay, so brows are done. They are dried down. Hopefully they don't look too crazy, but I feel like that's just the world I'm living in. I constantly have like weird wonky brows. You know, they say that brows aren't twins, they're sisters, but mine are not even in the same family, so that's just how it is. Um, so next I will do a bronzer to put some color in my face. Freaking love bronzer. My favorite bronzer of all time is the Butter Bronzer, but I literally have like a tiny sliver left. So I'm gonna use the Cheek Leader uh, Benefit palette thing. Um, this is like the only like high end makeup that I own right now. Um, and I got this as a birthday present. So that's why I have it. Um, but speaking of birthdays, uh, I'm a Taurus, so if that tells you anything about what type of person I am, uh, if you're into the zodiac and astrology, astrology, yeah, and all that, um, so I definitely am, like, very true to a Taurus, uh, very stubborn, uh, we're earth signs, I, um, definitely would think that I'm pretty grounded, pretty calm for the most part, um, but you know, also, there are many dimensions of who I am, I'm not just a Taurus, um, just like everyone, but um, yeah, so do some research about Taurus uh, if you want. Just bronzing the skin up. I feel like I can never get my bronzer even. I always feel like this side looks so much better than this side. And I try to put primer on to like even that out. And I know it's because I don't wear foundation, so I really have to kind of work at it. It's like right here, just there must be like a weird skin patch thing that I have going on right there because it does not take color. Like ever. Ooh. 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 Okay. So yeah, I have to really just bronze the hell out of my skin because I like to look tan. And it looks a little splotchy right now, so I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just buff that out. Not only do I work in retail, I also have like this vintage online shop thing that I do with my fiance. Um, and we're actually doing like a little pop-up this weekend. So yeah, so we have like a lot of vintage clothes that we sell online. And that's kind of just like our thing. We really love vintage. We love like vintage home decor, uh, specifically like mid-century. That's totally our vibe. We just moved into this big, um, 1920s house um so it's been really interesting trying to mesh our mid-century stuff to the vibe the like 1920s vibe of the house it's really it's been tough it's been a challenge i don't think i've ever been this challenge decorating a space before so when i get it all together I'm gonna be happy, but it's still a work in progress. We've been here for a couple months and it's still kind of a mess. Um, but yeah, so 
gonna put some blush on these cheeks. I'm just gonna use that same palette because this blush, it's called Gold Rush. It's gorgeous. It's so pretty and it smells, it smells so good. Just the blush on the palette smells good though. Like nothing else really has a smell. But it is such a pretty color. I like peachies and pinky tones for blush. And I like those blushes that you can like go in on and kind of just like build the coverage. I don't like it with just like a big like, like first step in. I feel like that's what all middle schoolers do when they're first trying to learn makeup. Just have super pink cheeks. Like I do right now, I'm realizing, but I'm gonna go back and blend it all together. I like to blend, y'all. Put a little pink on the nose. Oh, pink. So not only am I a fan of vintage things, I'm also like a rock and roll enthusiast, especially like uh, 70s, 60s and 70s stuff, like really into that. Um, my favorite band of all time is Fleetwood Mac, so it's very witchy and romantic. Mysterious, that's like totally my vibe. Um, but yeah, super big fan of like old music. Although I feel like I'm kind of in a rut because like you can listen to that for forever, but like you're never gonna hear new music from these people really. Um, so it kind of can get old. Like right now I'm in a rut, like I don't really know what to listen to because I feel like I've heard you know the same Led Zeppelin songs for years and years and years now and I know they have like a huge discography but uh yeah I don't know I'm just kind of like needing something new and I'm really into uh female singers and artists lately like freaking King Princess freaking love her um and really weirdly enough got into Billie Eilish within the past week like, I just like didn't know how I felt about her and I liked her like single or whatever but then I listened to her album and I was like, this slaps, this slaps. Um, and I just took that cookie highlighter from the palette and I put it all over my face. Like to be glowy. Do a little, a little eye makeup. We'll do something pretty neutral since I'm just really gonna be around the house today. Running just a few errands in town, nothing crazy. Yesterday I did a bright pink eye look and I love it, but I was at work yesterday. Today I'm not really gonna do that. Um, so I have some ColourPop palettes, give it to me straight, and Dream Street from Kathleen Lights. I freaking love Kathleen. And I want her new palette that just came out jaded palette um but anyway so i'm gonna go in with some nude shades um and this is matter of fact from give it to me straight i'm just gonna put it all over the lid I'm gonna take the Dream Street palette and mix these two. And put it in the crease.
All right, very simple, three shades, nothing crazy. I'm gonna take a little bit of that highlighter and put it on my brow bone. I'm actually gonna go back in with the two shades do my dry. Oh, y'all, I am glowing. I love this highlighter, it's so cute. So, I'm gonna set my makeup before I put mascara on because I feel like it'll get everywhere. Yeah. She's intense. She's intense. And now I'm going to pop on some mascara. Maybe Colossal, the Colossal, the Ride or Die. Also, don't really ever wear false lashes. I'm really bad at putting them on. And for my wedding, I'm considering if I should do eyelash extensions or fake eyelashes. I feel like eyelash extensions are gonna look more like natural and bridal. But I also have this fear, like what if I'm allergic to the glue and I go and get them done like a week before the wedding and then my eyes are like swollen shut. So maybe I just need to do a trial run. That's what it sounds like. Ooh, 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 it's done. It. And I am a chapstick queen. Can't leave the house without it. Always have it on me. I'm gonna put some chapstick on. And I call it good, honestly. If I'm doing like, if I'm going out, I'll wear like a nude lip or something. Occasionally I'll wear a colorful lip, um, but normally I just do chapstick and then like a little bit of a colored gloss. But my colored gloss is MIA right now, so this is the look to my everyday makeup look. It's very glowy, very shiny, but natural. Um, and I feel like this just, just goes with like a lot of different things. Like I could be wearing a dress and look super cute, or I could be wearing like a t-shirt and some jeans and some converse and still look snatched. Yeah, so this is it. Um, this is video. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, um, and hopefully um, I will be bringing you some new videos super soon. Thanks.